Hi, I'm Christian Mitchell, the state rep for the 26th district, and I just want to take a moment to talk about what's at stake in this election. Now, over the past year, uh, I have spent a lot of time talking to all of you, my constituents, about the things that are going on in Springfield. I've talked to single moms who have lost their child care. I've talked to elderly folks who rely on just a little bit of help from the state uh, to be able to stay in their homes and age in place with dignity, and with parents who are concerned. They pay their income taxes, pay their property taxes, and wonder when Springfield is finally going to make a real investment in public education. We've organized phone banks. We've We've sent letters to let the governor know how hurtful the cuts that he's making are uh, to all of our communities. Uh, I am running for re-election because despite how difficult this year has been, I still believe. I still believe that government can and must be a place where we come together and where we make sure that everyone can live up to their God-given potential regardless of where they're born or what they look like. I believe that that means uh, changing our education funding formula so that where you, your zip code determines only where you start and never where you finish so that every child has access to a high quality public education. That it looks like getting guns and gangs off our streets so that we're no longer burying children under the age of 10 in the city of Chicago. And it looks like making sure that everyone can afford to go to college by restoring funding to our MAP grant program. I have fought for all these issues this year and I have plans uh, for how to fix them, which you can view at my website at friendsofchristianmitchell.com. But ultimately, uh, the ultimate endorsement that I can get from any of you is your vote to continue the work that we've done together because we have accomplished some great things this year. We passed the bill to decriminalize small amounts of marijuana so that young people, some of whom look like me, are no longer branded with the scarlet letter of a felony. And we passed a bill to ensure real police accountability by increasing access to body cameras, having independent investigations of police involved killings, and increased training for our police. But we have so much more to do to ensure that everyone, regardless regardless of where they're born, has access to the same quality of life as anyone in the wealthiest part of our metropolis. I want to continue doing that work, so I'm humbly asking for your vote on March 15th. Thank you for listening.